Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Basic Course Service Now Learning. So in this video, I am going to talk about Service Now Vancouver Delta exam. In this video, I am going to provide you required information related to Service Now Vancouver Delta exam. Along with this, I am also going to share sample question and answer link for CSA. CAD, ITSM, GRC, HR, Discovery, FSM, etc. These are all mainline certification in service now, right? So I will be sharing those links. Those questions which I am sharing over there, I have actually received from some of my friends, those who had already appeared on those exams and cleared the same. So might be all those questions will be helpful for you. So if you are only looking for those question and answer, you can directly navigate to video description where you will be getting those links and you can navigate and find the questions over there. Okay. But in case if you are looking for more information related to the exam, please see this video till the end. Okay. So as I have already shown over here, that the last date for the Vancouver Delta exam is February 13, 2024. But the question here is that how you will come to know that you have to give Delta exam or not, right? So for that, what you have to do here is that you have to log in now learning portal where you can navigate to your certification. If your certification is displayed is at risk, it means that you have to give a Delta exam, okay? And if it is not displaying at risk, it means everything is okay. You can appear in the next release for the Delta exam. So let me allow to share more information related to the exam. So Vancouver mainline certification Delta exam is not a proctored exam, which means that you not need to go any of the center. You can give that exam at your home, at your office, at any place where you want. For Vancouver, Delta exam and Delta trainings are available for 90 days, which starts from November 16, 2023 till February 13, 2024. So today is January 13, right? It means one month is left for the certification to prepare it and to clear it. There is a fees which is applicable for the exam. So you can check the same in now learning portal means once you are logging to a now learning portal, you will be navigating to the certification. And if you are going to appear for the Delta exam, you will be seeing the fees over there. So first you have to pay the fees and then you can appear for it. Okay. Delta exams are based on content found in Delta exam study guides. So I have shared the link in the description. You can directly navigate over there and can get the content. Okay. If you are not opting for the exam or opting and failing the exam, then it will lead to the certification expire. Most importantly, let's say if you fail the Delta exam and need to retake the same, you are allowed four attempts after a 24 hours waiting period between attempt. So as I have said at the very beginning of the video, if you are looking for a link which contains question and answers related to mainland certification Delta exam, I will be sharing those link in video description. You can get those links over there and you can prepare accordingly. So friends, I think whatever information I have shared here will be helpful for you. If you think any of your friend or colleague is preparing for the Delta exam and he need more information on it, you can share this video to them also. So at least they will also come to know some information which I want to share. If you feel this video is helpful, then please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel and all the very best for your exam. Pass it and clear it and enjoy it. Thank you friends. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.